Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jen and Christian's with me. And if you want to hear our thoughts on a fun popcorn flick called Splinter from 2008, stick around. <laughs> This is a weird, interesting twist on a, on a zombie movie mixed with a full-on Cronenberg-style body horror movie. Yes, yes, this is this was a surprise. This is a movie that I literally just ran across in a, a horror group. Somebody mentioned it and I thought, and somebody, what the, the person that was talking about this film was saying was that the gore effects in this movie are really good. And they were right. Holy shit. And this, this is, is a some, low budget film. Yeah, holy shit. This is some good ass stuff. This is some really good effects. Yeah, th this is probably my biggest fra praise for this movie. Um, the story has been done a million times. We're set at a gas station. It's a creature feature. But with, with even with those limit, and it's a low budget, but even with those limitations, this was a fun movie. And this is a perfect movie for summertime. Yeah, it's We a even real... have fireworks. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah. Should have done this before <laughs> July. Um, no, the, yeah, no, this is a really interesting little flick, uh, flick that you would not, ex it has elements I was not expecting out of like a creature feature body horror. I was expecting the effects to be good, but what I wasn't expecting for the writing and the character dialogue to be so solid and believable. Yeah. Yes, that's what really this is what made this is a movie that makes or breaks its move uh, this, this is a film that makes or breaks it on its characters and luckily for us the characters come through they're likable but they're believable yes we have some funny one-liners but once you get to know the characters this seems totally like what they would actually say this yeah. isn't just witty dialogue to be witty dialogue probably my favorite character in this movie is our convict yeah he's probably the most compelling character out of the whole movie yes and then uh, we have another other guy who who is a which I guess you can now that I think about it probably they're just more for convenient writing. He's he's a biology major. Yeah, he's he's and maybe there for exposition. A exposition towards the end of the movie. But he also is a believable part uh, character in a, in person. And he actually, I was actually really surprised because him and his girlfriend are actually some some of the more believable couple, like one of the most believable couples I've seen out of a horror movie in years. Yeah, yeah, they're very believable and they're kind of they're very much an opposites a track uh, couple she's kind of a, a go-getter she's like she's a girl that you know isn't afraid to get out in nature in fact that's how we get started in this story is they're gonna go camping they're gonna have anniversary sex under the stars and um, they're trying to build the tent and he's a really smart guy but he's not what you would call a manly kind of guy like he can't put up the tent uh, once when they get abducted by these two con escaped convicts uh, the guy tells Tells him you drive and the girl keeps going no I'll drive and he finally goes I can't drive a stick which is both believable in this modern day and a funny line and I like our convict because he looks at his girlfriend and he and, and they just kind of you know like wow mm -hmm. and there's a few other uh, things and there's a funny line it actually made me laugh where uh, they pull into this gas station and they go now can you pump the gas <laughs> it's really funny yeah, the writing for this movie is really clever and witty and believable like they actually something I, uh, something a lot of modern creature features kind of have the problem of of making the foe kind of too unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is a believable kind of threat. It reminds me, what it actually reminds me of a lot um, in multiple facets is Tremors mm -hmm. of making a of making a believable creature th that actually could exist, and even then kind of and even taking elements from Tremors too, with the fact that it only sees in like infrared and can and tracks you by heat. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. No. Um, I, what I was going to say, uh, speaking of the creature design, what um, uh, this this is a very good creature design, but again, like I said, this was a low budget film, and some of you guys, uh, I was going to ask you about this, some of you guys out there who hate shaky cam, and basically it's just, mm. and I know it's a trick because we're just trying to cover up our low budget. It's very good to look at, but uh, you can tell that they're using this to cover uh, up a little uh, yeah, bit of a I was, small budget. I was going to get to that because that's actually my only big con of the movie is the camera works pretty pretty subpar like it's mainly uses just a lot of quick cuts and shaky cam to cover up the effects which the effects are, uh, are held really on, look really good so i kind of feel like that's kind of a waste to have these good of a 
effects and just waste it on like mediocre camera work. For for most scenes, they were it's perfectly fine, but for the actual like big intense scenes, especially the climax of the movie, it does kind of take you out of it a bit because it's just really shaky at points where you can't really tell what's going on. Yeah, exactly, and that probably will detract. But it's still a fun ride. Mm -hmm. This is a low budget creature feature. This is kind of somewhere where you'd put this is like too good for sci-fi, but it's really good B movie schlock, but in the best sense of the word. Totally. Like it's not a bet. It's not a criticism. It's, it, is it the is, is it something that blew my socks off? No, but I wasn't bored. For the most part, I wasn't bored. I do have to admit, I thought this could have taken 10 or 15 minutes off. I felt it drag just a smidge. There are element, moments of the movie where it does feel a little, a little lackluster. Mainly like the opening, opening like right, right when, as soon as they get to the gas station, it works fine there. But yeah. before that, it does drag a little bit. It drags just a little bit, but that's okay. And it's mostly this story. Now, the story is nothing, like I said, this is nothing new. We're set at a gas station. We're following these three characters, and the gore effects is really, really yeah, good. This all is where it's really well, and done. it's a fun story. You're not going to be sitting there going, "Oh my god!" If you don't have anything better to watch, this is a very fun creature feature, and I like how ambiguous they. We don't get much backstory as to what the hell this creature is, mm -hmm. what it's doing. I like that. Yeah, it gives you just enough to kind of make your own conclusions. Again, much like Tremors, it gives you a hint of what of what it is and where it comes from, mm -hmm. but it kind of leaves it up to your own inter uh, interpretation to and kind of speculation over what it is. Exactly. If you're a gore hound who is into creature features, this one will probably be one that is worth checking out. It's not going to be a waste of your time. Um, like I said, the only thing, the only criticism I really have, uh, the, the, I didn't think the camera work was bad because I understand they're just trying to, they only I have get so much it, of a but, budget. Uh, it's a pet peeve of mine and that takes me out of movies a lot when they heavily rely on safety cam. I get that. Um, the, the only thing for me is is it is a bit long, but a little bit. I wish they would have cut, tri trimmed it down, not even cut, just trimmed it down a little bit. But other than that, it's still it's a still a fun ride. It definitely has a summer vibe movie. Mm. This is a perfect movie to put on a hot day. I think uh, you guys will enjoy it. It's definitely worth checking out. It's definitely worth seeking out if you're a big creature fan. And like I said, the gore was I was surprised how good these effects are. These yeah. effects are damn damn good. Um, the story's nothing new, but we're at a gas station. People are in trouble, and some creatures after them. And I like the ending. I thought yeah, the, the ending ending's was, the ending's really good. This movie also taught me something. Oh yeah. The, about cinder blocks. I'm not going to talk any more about that. For anyone who's seen the movie, you know I learned cinder blocks are more useful than I thought. And one of our, it actually made me cringe. What yeah, they have to do with cinder blocks. It's probably the most brutal moment of the whole movie because even both of you are like, Ugh. and even or even with like the hardest core body horror movies, usually that shit don't happen. Yeah, it usually doesn't with me, but I was like, oh my! But then it was a character I liked too, yeah, so that yeah. could be possible. Yeah, totally. Uh, yeah, no, uh, even me, and I'm I, I'm that guy that can sit and eat lunch while watching Society and be perfectly fine. But even me, I was like, Ugh. yeah, and ow. Yeah. But it's a really good movie. I would definitely, I'd give this one a solid A. I'd give this an A too. Yeah. yeah. I give it an A. I definitely say see it, uh, seek it out if you're, especially if you're into creature features. Uh, this will be if you're like waiting for Crawl to come out. If you if you, if you haven't seen Crawl yet, this would be a good one to kind of yeah, watch and then go watch Crawl. If you like stuff like Sl James Gunn's Slither, a uh, Slither, uh, any classic Cronenberg stuff, The Thing, a lot of those. I fit, would recommend this to a lot of people. This is really solid. Fun. Yeah, this is a this is a perfect fun summertime heat of the day kind of movie. Like I said, you won't exactly be blown away, but in a way you will because like I said. There's a lot in this movie. The, the acting's really good. Our characters are likable. And our uh, special effects are just really... Wow. They knocked them out of the park. So definitely check this one out if you haven't. It's from 2008. And yeah, we give... The, the, here at Jen's Reviews from a Grave, we give this one a big thumbs up. So check it out. Do we have anything else to say about Spook? I don't Spook? think so. Okay, so this was a short one, guys. Sorry about that. But sometimes yeah, th this is one we don't want to give too much away. So, But definitely check it out. And as always, I'll say what I always say. If you do happen to like the contents of this channel, please hit that subscriber button because we appreciate every subscriber we get. And with that, we wish you a good day, a good evening, and we'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye, guys. Cheers.